Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a graphics card on a Lenovo desktop. Here I have the Idea Sentry 5i desktop tower by Lenovo. And if you have the same look of the desktop here, then you can follow along the video and decide whether you want to upgrade the graphics card for better performance. All right, so let's take a quick look. In the back of the computer, you can see that here is where you're going to plug in your monitor, the USB for mouse and keyboard. This is the side of the motherboard. The motherboard side would be sitting down on the table. And then here would be the sliding panel where you can remove and see the internal part of the desktop. All right, so the first thing you need to have is a regular Phillips screwdriver. And this Phillips screwdriver allows you to remove the screw. We need to take out two screws, one on the top and one at the bottom. Okay, once you have removed the two screws, you then now can slide the side panel to your left and remove the side panel. Once you are in this position, you can pretty much identify and see the internal part of the computer. That is your CPU fan, the heat sink. This is where the graphics card is going to be installed. Now, before we can do that, uh, definitely we need to turn it around the desktop here. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Now here in the desktop, before we can install the graphics card, this little metal thing is blocking our way. So we definitely need to remove this metal piece. Uh, but before we can do that, we definitely have to remove the front panel. So this is the plastic cover in the front. To do that, all you have to do is just lift the tab. There are three tabs holding down the front panel. Once you remove the three tabs, you can just slide it out. Okay, just want to give you a quick look here. That is the front panel on your Lenovo desktop. Okay, once you have done with that process, the next step uh, is definitely the metal piece right here. So to remove it, there's a little red tab. You just have to kind of pull that little tab. And once you pull the tab, you can slide up and then away from you. So you can see that the little thing here where you can slide out and match that screw. You can just lift it up and the metal thing will just come right off. If you pay attention, I still have the cable connected to my CD and DVD ROM. I'm just going to leave it on as this. All I have to do is just going to tilt that metal piece lay down right on the desktop. Okay, let's identify the computer here. You can see that the power supply, this is your power supply. The power supply powers up the motherboard with a four pin connector. So that is the four pin connector here, as well as the 10 pin connector here on the front. Now there's no additional cables. You can see that uh, the only cables it available is the SATA cable here the four pin cable, but there's no PCIe cable attached to the power supply. In other words, you're not able to install the high end graphics card. What are the high end graphics card? Usually a high end graphics card. I know this is not a high end graphics card because it's 660, but it was one of the high end graphics card back in my days. Okay, so just assuming that this is the brand new RTX 4090 graphics card. Those high-end graphics card requires what we call the PCIe power pin. Usually it needs like six of them, um, eight of them, you know, two eights or two six or one six one eight. Whatever it is, it requires a bigger power supply. So it needs a bigger voltage on the power supply that has the PCIe cable sticking out either six or eight pin which you could connect to the high-end graphics card to power up the computer. That is the high-end graphics card there. Here we have the low-profile graphics card. 
what it is is this low profile graphics card does not have any pins power pin required so you don't have to have six pin or eight pin power to get this graphics card going although it's going to offload some of the work graphics on your cpu because right now the cpu is providing the uh, the graphics if you install this low profile graphics card it would offload some of the performance on the C cpu to kind of less stress on it okay so to install it's very simple all you have to do is flip this thing in the back there's a little cable right there that is a wi-fi cable i just want to make sure i can slide this little piece of a metal slide it out and you want to make sure that the graphics card is in a position it's not disturbing the wi-fi antenna and to install you're just going to match the uh, the connector right onto the pcie slot like such once it's installed double check making sure that the wi-fi antenna is not being clipped or clamped down okay close close the back of that P um the latch close it down that will secure fasten the graphics card now the next step is pretty much reverse process to install everything back together and um by sliding this okay so you kind of slide it back in uh, what you want to do is to make sure that it locks in first okay and then just push it all the way away from your body so push it to that direction to lock it in once it's locked in front panel side panel you're done are you really done the answer is no because you still have to install the driver according to your graphics card that you purchase what i'm going to do is i'm going to link you down in the description below go check it out it will direct you to either amazon or ebay where you can find the graphics card maybe 1050 1060 the low profile does not require a six pin connector if you're interested where to find them where to buy them check the link down description below you would go to amazon or ebay okay and again if you feel like this video is helpful um, all i'm asking is just smash the like button for me uh, if this video helps you to uh, to get what you want and of course if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe and i want to thank for those people who show the appreciation which you can also show me appreciation by clicking the youtube super thanks youtube super thanks allow you to donate whatever amount of money that you want and that way it helps me to grow the channel and it helps me to make this sort of video for you all right thanks in advance and i appreciate you for watching the video and bye now